Hello students, welcome to EPG Pachala. I am Dr. Lakshmi Narula, Associate Professor in Zoology from Shri Guru Tegh Bahadur Khalsa College, University of Delhi. In this module, we are going to study about the population growth part 2 from Principles of Ecology paper. After studying this module, you shall be able to know about the heteroparous reproductive strategies, the exponential growth in the heteroparous species, exponential growth equation and its application, logistic growth, Wallhurst Pearl equation, sigmoid growth curve, R and K selected species. And then in the end, about the e examples of the two growth patterns. Now, population growth patterns depend upon the reproductive strategy of the populations. There are two types of reproductive strategies observed in nature. One, similparous and heteroparous. Heteroparous populations can reproduce continuously in their reproductive phase. They have overlapping reproductive generations. The populations have characteristic patterns of increase as we call them the various growth forms. The commonly observed two basic growth patterns have been described based upon the shape of their growth curve. One is J-shaped which is also derived from the exponential growth equation and the second is sigmoid or the logistic growth equation based upon Wallhurst Pearl equation. These two forms can be combined and modified or both ways various both in the various ways depending upon the characteristics of a population and the environmental conditions. Exponential population growth in heteroparous population. A population that can reproduce more than once in its lifetime is called heteroparous population as we have discussed in part 1. These are the populations with overlapping generations. Each generation lives for two periods like young and old parents which are reproductively active. In case of naturalist or ecologist, the life is divided, lifespan of an individual is divided into three pre reproductive, reproductive, and post reproductive, which is different from the age groups in case of the population ecology. In populations with discrete population growth, the growth rate depends on R, that is the geometric factor. It is the factor by which the quantity multiplies itself over the time or the fundamental net reproductive rate. The geometric factor is obtained from the difference in the number of birth and the death as per given in the following equation R is equal to 1 plus B minus D. Exponential growth equation in heteroparous population. This model may be defined as a continuous population growth model like a compound interest. Growth does not depend on the parameters like seasons, food, climate or for breeding. In the populations that have overlapping generations and prolonged and continuous breeding seasons, the population growth can be described more easily by the use of differential equation. In this population growth depends upon the instantaneous rate of increase per capita. It is best described in terms of the rate of change of population in size and is denoted as dn upon dt. These populations are called R selected species. The growth equation. However, the exponential model is robust. It gives reasonable precision even if 
these conditions do not meet. The organisms may differ in age, survival and mortality, but the population consists of a large number of organisms and thus their birth and death rates are averaged. The parameter R in the exponential model can be interpreted as a difference in the birth rate and the death rate. Therefore, the equation can be given as dn upon dt is equal to b minus d into n which is also written as rn. Differential or exponential model as stated in the previous slide is given as dn upon dt is equal to rn. Since dn upon dt is a change in the population from the beginning, that is the initial population, to the time t, this equation can also be written as r is equal to nt minus n0 upon t. The assumptions of this exponential model are 1. Continuous reproduction, that is there is no seasonality. All organisms are identical, that is, there is no ecological age structure. And three, the environment is constant in space and time, that is, the resources are unlimited. Integrated Exponential Growth Equation under unlimited conditions, this growth equation denoted as above dn upon dt is equal to Rn can be integrated and written as nt is equal to n0 e raised to the power rt. nt is the number of individuals at the time t. n0 is the number of individuals at the starting of the population. This equation can be very easily equated with the compound interest where we want to know the amount at the time t with the starting principle which is equal to n0 and the rate of interest is denoted as r and t is the time for which the interest is given. So just as the interest is compounded, similarly the population shows a compounded growth rate. Difference between R0 and R. It's very important to understand that R measures the population change in absolute units of time, for example, years, whereas R0 measures the population change in terms of generation time. To convert R0 into R, we must first calculate the generation time G and then adjust the value of R0. The generation time is calculated from this formula. T or G is given as sigma Bx into Lx into x divided by R0. And R is equal to log E R0 upon G. In this equation, Bx is the birth rate at the age x, Lx is the proportion of individual at the age x and x is the age class. The geometrical growth curves are also called as the exponential growth curves mostly and they end in the population crashes or the population explosion. The death of the individuals occurs due to any one of the following parameters which cannot support this high number. We have come across two parameters quoted as R, small r and capital R0. Parameter R that is a small r is known by the different names. This is commonly called as the Malthusian parameter and it is written as Rm also where the M denominator indicates the number of females contributed per female or this is also known as the maximum rate of population increase and that is why it is named as Rm. It is also commonly called as the instantaneous rate of natural increase and 
the population growth. It is a generic term and intrinsic rate of increase which is better term in case of the logistic model rather than in the exponential growth model because in the logistic model the value of r is equal to the population growth rate at very low densities in the absence of environmental condition because in a logistic growth curve initially the value of r is low it increases in the middle part and when it is reaching the equilibrium then its rate is increased that is the value of r is increased. Now what is the fate of the exponential population growth? The population growth curves when they increase tremendously at in the exponential rate as we have seen some of the examples if naturally given an opportunity to grow with that rate it ultimately leads to the population explosion and in such cases the death of the individuals can occur due to any one of the factors because the population cannot be supported beyond a certain number by the resources which are available in the ecosystem or on the entire biosphere. Mainly the population decline is due to starvation, disease or competition. This type of curve when we see them drawn on the normal graph paper they show J shape curve or a dome shape curve. J shape means when they are increasing tremendously and near the end point they come to a crash and they just decline and the population is completely lost or it becomes extinct from that particular niche in the ecosystem. Example of a hypothetical population growth. Let us start with the population of 100 individuals and the value of R is 0 0.5 per female per year. Now the starting population N0 is equal to 100, R is 0 0.5 and T is equal to 5 years for which that is from 1 to 5. With this we can draw a table as given in the next slide. Calculation of the exponential growth of a hypothetical population starting with the population 100 and the growth rate as 0 0.5. In this table you can see that in the one year if you do these calculations the value of population comes to 165. In the second year it is 272. Third year it is 448. Fifth year it is going to 1218. This is an exponential increase in the population size from 100 to 1218. This graph is showing a geometrical or the exponential growth of phlox plant. As indicated in the number, the plants are calculated at several intervals by using the formula nt is equal to n0 e raised to the power rt. You can see to begin with the population growth rate is very slow and then it is exponentially increasing from 480 to 1162. Exponential growth of a population with overlapping generation. The starting population n is equal to 10. The population growth when it is plotted on a semi-log curve it will give a straight line with the natural log E which has a constant value of 2.71828. X axis is varying from 0 to 100 and the Y axis natural log which is given from 0 to 5. This curve is indicating the different rate of population growth with the different values of R0 from 0 when it is population is at no growth stage, it is increasing growth rate when it is in from 1.1 to 1.2 R0 value. Now after studying about the exponential growth equation, 
how can we utilize how can we apply it in the natural ecosystems basically it is used in harvesting of plants or animal species harvesting for food affects the growth rate of the population like we need to know how many fish can be taken out from the pond after trawling what will be the leftover in the pond for the population to be maintained for the prediction of the fish dynamics it is important because we need to grow fish or we have to have fish culture for the fit production of fish in the industry plants and their products are also very important to us now when we take out any plant product or when we remove any product from the trees how much of it should be taken out ensuring that the population growth of that plant is not being affected at all similarly we can apply the exponential growth in the rearing of the insect population like honeybees and other culture etc when we are growing that how much we can get the yield so that the population in its natural ecosystem is maintained so for the to, to predict that how much will be available to us and how much is required for sustaining the balanced ecosystem it is very important in conservation biology we have already studied two examples of lion tail macaque monkey and also of the tiger population that is the protection of endangered and threatened species can be determined by applying the exponential population growth pattern to protect them it is important to know what is the rate at which they can grow they can multiply and what are the factors which are affecting their growth it's very important in the field of microbiology bacteria and other cultural mediums are used bacteria and other cultures are used in the medical sciences pharmaceutical and for providing us the various goods therefore in the microbiology science we need to know that how much is the growth rate of the bacteria as we have already seen that the bacteria multiply very rapidly but rapid multiplication always may not be meaningful or good so we have to have a sustained growth of the bacteria for our use and to maintain them in the culture medium for the future use we can also predict the future population through the continuous or the discrete mode of population growth it has been shown that it is important for the human population as we have seen in the previous module that what are the trends of the human population growth and what will be the human population growth rate in 2025 or 2043 or 2080s so these data can be predicted by knowing what is the trend what is the reproductive rate what are the resources available to them and how can we control the population growth management of population of tiger in the wildlife sanctuary this exponential pattern of population growth is well observed in rehabilitation of the endangered species such as tigers panthera tigris imagine a situation where the government starts a sanctuary far away from the human settlement under the unlimiting environmental conditions for the growth of the tigers there is no other factor to disturb the intrinsic growth of the population mating occurs generally more commonly between november and april the gestation period is 16 weeks the population starts with 50 tigers and the number of births per year of the population from which the tigers were obtained was 0.45 and the number of deaths per year was 0.1 thus the value of r can be calculated as r is equal to 1 plus b minus d 
which will be equal to 1 plus 0 0.45 minus 0 0.1 equal to 1.35 and the population at the end of each year can be calculated and predicted. Mating occurs generally more commonly between November and April. The gestation period is 16 weeks. The population starts with 50 tigers and the number of births per year of the population from which the tigers were obtained was 0 0.45 and the number of deaths per year was 0 0.1. Thus, the value of R can be calculated as R is equal to 1 plus B minus D, which will be equal to 1 plus 0 0.45 minus 0 0.1 equal to 1.35. And the population at the end of each year can be calculated and predict it. At the end of the first year, there would be R0 and 0 number of tigers which will be equal to 1 plus 0 0.45 minus 1 into 50 equal to 67.5. At the end of second year, it will be R, R into N1 or we can also write it as R R into N0 or we can also write it as R square N0. This will give the figure 1.35 into 1.35 into 50 equal to 91.25. Thus, at the end of t year or the time t which can be any infinite time, nt will be equal to R raised to the power t into N0. We can also justify the exponential population growth rate in conservation of wildlife of loin-tailed monkey. The loin-tailed macaque, old world monkey, is endemic to the western Ghats of South India. It eats indigenous fruits, leaves, birds, insects and the vertebrates in the virgin forest. They are disappearing due to the loss of their habitat. The gestation period of this monkey is 6 months. The young ones are nursed for their first year. The sexual maturity is reached at 4 years for the females and 6 years for the males. The life expectancy on the wild is nearly 20 years. Removal of the human settlement from a small area in the Western Ghats has led to the rapid forest growth resulting in an increase in the insect population and the small vertebrate population. Initially, 102 loin-tailed monkeys were observed on this resettlement area. The growth of the lion-tailed monkey is as shown in this tabulated form. As you can see in this table, the growth lion-tailed macaque from 1972 to 1997 at an interval of 0 to 25 years, there is an increase in number from 102 to 355. The growth rate, if it is calculated, it is ranging between 0 0.108 to 0 0.1. Thus, as it is clear from this previous table that the growth rate from 1972 to 1975 is for the entire population 10.2 and if we want to convert it into a decimal value, it can be divided by 100 and it will reach 0 0.1012. Trends in human population growth. There was a slow rate for nearly 174 years from 1800 to 1974. The population increased from 1 billion to 2 billion in 127 years, whereas it took 13 years to increase by 1 billion, that is from 4 to 5 billion from 1874 to 1887. Presently, 
the world population growth rate has decreased as 12 years are required to increase the population by 1 billion and it is assumed that by 2043 nearly 40 years would be required for 1 billion increase in the population size. This table indicates a figure of United Nations Population Fund estimate done in October 2011 for the human population. As you can see up to 2011 the population increase has already occurred up to 7 million and the predicted values for 2025 are 8 billion people, 43, 9 billion people and 83, 10 billion people. Expected trends in the human population growth with the different fertility value from 1950 to 2100. As you can visualize in this figure, depending upon the change in the population size, there is a different trend in the population growth with a constant fertility rate which is at present the population is increasing exponentially with the medium population growth, the rate of growth is little less and with the low population growth, it is towards the decline. The constant fertility rate is leading to the increase exponentially because this has been observed in the past but because of the measures taken for the population control, it will not be observed. These are only the predicted values keeping in mind what would be the status of human population if we do not take measures to control the human population growth. In 1938, Wallace proposed that the populations grow in a much more systematic way than as proposed by Malthus. The geometric or the exponential growth of all the populations is eventually curtailed by food availability, competition for other resources, predation, diseases and many other ecological factors resulting in the population crash and complete disappearance of the population. Whereas it is observed in nature that the populations are sustained for a long time and there is a balance in the ecosystem as the populations tend to grow in the logistic manner. All populations tend to be stable in the ecosystems. The logistic population growth is limited by the carrying capacity. Therefore, it, they are called as K-selected species. What is carrying capacity is the amount of a resource available to sustain a particular number of the individuals of a population. The competition for all resources increases with the increase in the population size that is the value of n and the growth rate that is dn upon dt eventually approaches zero near the carrying capacity for the environment at a given time and it shows a plateau because of the reduced resource availability such as the food and space and the increased number of individuals that is the value of n. Logistic growth equation. The logistic growth equation was independently proposed by Verhust and Pearl. Therefore, it is commonly named as Verhust Pearl growth equation as given below. dn upon dt is equal to r n into k minus n divided by k. In other words, it can be written as r n into 1 minus k divided by k. Where dn upon dt is the rate of increase of population or the rate of population growth per capita n is the number of individuals of the population at a given time, t is time, k is the constant upper limit of the population and is known as the carrying capacity for a population in the ecosystem. The integral form of this equation is given as nt 
is equal to k upon 1 plus e raised to the power a minus rt where nt is the population size at the time t e is the base of the natural log 2.718 a is the constant of integration defining the position of the curve relative to the origin r is the rate of population increase per capita these two curves are showing the sigmoid and exponential growth curve one is based on the malthusian exponential growth pattern and the other one is on the basis of wallhurst pearl equation this indicates that the population at a new place when it is beginning is growing at a very slow rate and then in exponential curve it goes steep down and in the sigmoid curve it attains a plateau and becomes parallel to the x axis this parallel line is called asymptot and demarcates the carrying capacity of the resource. The populations initiated at the densities above the k decline exponentially until they reach k or they may decline below the k and the density is below the carrying capacity at that point. They start showing oscillations and fluctuations. Oscillations are regular changes across the asymptote whereas fluctuations are erratic changes around the asymptote. The components of a sigmoid population growth curve as shown by Wallhurst and Pearl logistic equation. The upper limit in this curve is termed as the k carrying capacity and that is the equilibrium point around which the population is maintained constant. The initial population densities are very low and the rate of growth is very small. Therefore, this is known as the lag phase of the curve. The second one, once a few number of the individuals have established a new vacant niche, the population growth increases and the colonization is very fast. This is known as the positive acceleration phase. After the population growth is accelerated to some extent, then in between it shows an exponential population growth rate, which is similar to what we have seen in the exponential pro growth rate of the R selected populations. Once a high number of the individuals is raised, that is the value of n is nearing the k value or the carrying capacity value then the population growth rate is decreased and this may be called as the negative acceleration phase after it has achieved the asymptote or the equilibrium point then it shows a stationary phase which is in the form of a straight line asymptote or the carrying capacity of the population as shown in the previous curve that the population growth rate is determined initially by the number of individuals as they are increasing and approaching the value of k there is a difference in the rate at which the population shows its growth rate. It is very clear from this figure a hypothetical data where we have the carrying capacity as 100 we start with the population of one individual and the rate of growth is equal to 1. As you can visualize in this figure that to begin with the population growth rate when all the niche is vacant is very high and the population growth rate as calculated from the logistic equation is 98.01. When the population density or the size is increasing to n equal to 50, the rate is decreased to 25 and as it is approaching near the carrying capacity, it is declined to very little and nearly 0.1% is the rate of increase. So this table is very clearly indicating that as the more and more resource is utilized, and the number of individuals is approaching the carrying capacity, there is a decreased rate of growth of the population. In natural ecosystem, there are some of the assumptions we have to make 
when we are making a logistic growth equation. A stable age distribution is required initially. Each individual is equivalent to all other in terms of resource consumption. The addition of every new individual reduces the actual rate of increase by the same fraction that is 1 by k at every density. The lag that is the time delay in the environmental change on the population growth are unimportant. No threshold phenomenon is associated with the response to approaching k. All individuals are equivalent in their biotic potential that is the same maximum rate of reproduction or R max. K is immutable constant that is it does not change with time. Now all these assumptions lead to the logistic growth equation but based upon it there are many things which we cannot explain and we take them as the falsifications of these assumptions. Each female contributes differently to the population growth which may be due to the difference in their growth rate that is the time to reach the maturity and the number of offsprings produced by them. The rapidity and the intensity of the response of the population growth either the mortality rate and or the birth rate to change in the environmental conditions determine how closely the population number will approach towards the stability at the carrying capacity. Any delay in the response to the growth rate or fluctuations in population size will lead to oscillations about the carrying capacity. The magnitude of oscillations increases, the lag period also increases and long lag periods may lead to the extinction of a population. The carrying capacity does not remain constant in time. For example, the birds feeding on the seasonal crop seeds show seasonal variations in their growth pattern. For the human population, technology plays an important role in the dynamics of carrying capacity. Age Neolithic revolution increased the carrying capacity of the world through the invention of agriculture. The concept of carrying capacity is very clear in this example. In the tropical rainforest, only 80 cocoons of wasp can live on one caterpillar of Thyretina leucosire. If there are 100 caterpillars, only 8000 cocoons can be supported. The change in the number of cocoons shows a sigmoid growth pattern as seen in the forest and calculated from the formula. So students, let's summarize what have we learned in this module. The Ichiroparous species can reproduce more than once in their lifetime. Thus, there are two or more overlapping generations of organisms living at any one time. The environment is never stable. It limits the population growth with respect to one or more than one factors. Therefore, the rate of growth is slowed down. It depends upon the carrying capacity of the resource. Walhurst and Pearl independently derived an equation explaining the sigmoid form of the population growth depending upon the carrying capacity and the population size at any one given time. The R selected species live in a more unpredictable harsh environmental conditions. Mortality is high and the greater amount of energy is spent on reproduction. They expand rapidly when the conditions are unfavorable. K-selected populations live under more 
predictable environmental conditions they are subjected to density related mortality and spend less time and energy on reproduction favor it favors efficient use of the environment